Hey guys, welcome back. This is Yaz, aka the Barbie, and I'm going to show you how to make a uh, Sims 4 CADS background. And what you want to do is you need to have the Sims 4 Studio. Um, I'll have the link down below for um, everything on here so that way you don't get lost. So you want to click on my project and then um, one of the things that you're going to have, sorry guys, is uh, I'm going to have a template already for you. So as you see it says template uh, CAD package. So you want to open that. Once you open this you want to export the picture. So we're going to export it right onto my documents over here. Where are you? Yeah, that's fine. And since I already have one, I'm just going to save. So as you can see, this is the cast um, template. And then what you want to do is open um, Photoshop or any of your editing um, softwares. And if you don't, then you can always use um, this website here, Pixar. Pixar. <laughs> And then you just launch um, the web app and it opens. You want to open up to the template. And since this is the template, here we go. And then we want to pick a imagine uh, a picture that you want as your background. And let's go with probably this one. That's, uh, I don't know. Let's go with one of these two pink ones. I'm, I'm not even sure. Um, oops. Let's go with this one. This one's smaller. So then you, what you want to do is uh, adjust this. And this isn't going to fit. So we're going to have to transform it and make it fit. In there there you go oh I think I should have just picked the other one um you know what uh, I think I'm gonna pick the other one um, oh, let's delete this one um, I'm gonna pick the other pixel pixel picture picture uh, transform and just yeah zoom out until it starts There you go that looks good save and then I could crop I mean you don't really need to crop this it will be fine if you don't crop it I'm just oh and no I'm just gonna leave it like that whatever um actually let me just cut I'm I'm sorry I'm just very what is going on now I look like a noob like, like I don't know what I'm doing okay there you go so there is that is going to be our background we're just going to save this you want to make sure you save it as a png press ok actually yeah that's fine and then i'll just i'm going to just name it c and then when you go into back into your uh, sense 4 studio you want to make sure you import and then where did it go okay there you go and then you want to just click on it so you see it's right there so once this is done what you do is press save and your package has been saved so wherever that you save that package let me close this please okay wherever you save that package that is where your where it is uh, let me open this and i have a lot of stuff going on here okay did i not yeah it's there okay so then uh i'm gonna go into my mods folder i made a folder called cas background so i just want to drop that in there and then let's run the sims so 
This is loading up. I'm so tired. Alright, so this is loading up. It's taking a little bit longer. Um, I'm thinking about um, just maybe deleting some stuff. I'm not even sure. Okay, so. Uh, let's just do a new game. And as soon as we jump into Cat, you'll see our new background. Fabine Bobsani. But you do see that we have a little ball, a bob, a little spot here, all types of messed up. What you want to do is exit game. And add the bob remover. Blob, blob, blob remover and okay and then you want to let's see reopen this So this is loading up. Sorry guys, it's taking a minute. Like I ha literally have a lot of stuff on my computer. I need to uh, start cleaning out. Okay, I just hit the new screen. Well, hit whatever you're gonna do. But as you see, the blob is Skibble now done. So yep, that's how you do it. Look how awesome. Nice little background in the back. Nice. Huh. Alright guys, that was the end of my tutorial. It was really simple and quick. I'll have the links down below for uh, both package, for the template package and the blob, blob, blob remover. And also for the... Um, for the Dream Force Studio. And I'm just gonna leave this video right here, guys. Bye!